hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all and let's get to it so i had to talk about this little interview y'all this little interview that orange mount quit did with stan g okay y'all um for those of you who don't know who orange mount quit is he is um one of the accusers that um that's in young Dolph's case that he helped you know put the whole thing together or was the middleman basically this is what they said that he was the middleman and he was arrested and he was released until his court date okay y'all so he just did his first interview and he really didn't give up much information everything that was important that we wanted to hear he pretty much said you know he couldn't really speak on it because he got an open case so i don't even know why he had an interview in the first place to be honest with y'all but you know it is what it is um he spoke on a few things in this interview okay um he spoke on his daughter um for those of you who do not know his daughter is a lot of cash that stole and she was taken out in houston okay so he spoke on that whole incident and he said that um he he tried to push the issue y'all he tried to push the issue a lot that her being taken out had nothing to do with this case which i beg to differ a lot of people beg to differ everybody said that his daughter was taken out because of you know what happened to young Dolph. Everybody and a mama is saying this. So these are the rumors that's going around. So I'm going to say allegedly because I don't know why she was taken out. I wasn't there. Okay. Had no clue. Okay. But the rumors that's out here on these streets and the rumors that's out here on these YouTube streets are she got taken off because of Dolph. She got taken straight out of, the, out of here because of what happened to Dolph and the part that he played in it. Okay. This is what everybody has been saying. So, a lot of what he came on here to say, to me, was collateral damage. He was trying to, you know, fix some things. To get, you know, um, instead of him helping Dolph's case, which this is what he agreed to, allegedly, this is why he got out. They said he got out because he cooperated, um, and this is why Dolph family let him out. But now that he's out, it seems like he's doing damage control right now. And he's trying to get, you know, the fingers from pointing at him of what happened to Dolph being connected to his daughter. He made it perfectly clear that he was trying his best. This is why, why I think he did this interview in the first place, to try to steer the narrative and make it look as if it had nothing to do with Dolph. And he, he went into details starting to talk about why she was taken out, basically. This is what he tried to say, you know, that he feel that it came from her dissing you know some of um what's his name fulio or somebody's ops so she did a song with fulio and of course he was dissing his ops most likely and she did a verse and she dissed the ops too and he kind of is blaming fulio for what happened to his daughter um you can't blame the next band for what happened to your daughter because if you raised her right she wouldn't have never jumped on there and did that in the first place um, by him being a street person, um, a street associate, you would think that he would, you know, have some type of control over his daughter and she would know not to do stuff like that. But, um, this is what he's trying to steer the narrative to that she got taken out because she dis Fulio Ops. So Fulio Ops got up with her, which everybody is saying that's a complete lie. So he got up here and told a lot of lies, y'all. Okay. He went on to say that, um, she was not signed to Lil Uzi Vert, um, that she was actually about to sign with Kodak Black because Kodak Black um, bought her a car and everything. So she was about to, you know, go that route instead. But she passed away before, um, you know, Kodak Black could sign her. So he did go on to, you know, say that part. But he did, you know, he, he emphasized a lot on, um, he talked about Lil Flip a lot in this whole T.I. beef or whatever he had going on with T.I. because T.I. recorded him 
and, and you know, without his permission, which goes to show you that all of these people hang together and they're a bunch of snakes, okay? I've been saying this for a long time, that a lot of people, even the people in Houston, y'all, Mob Ties, T.I., Boosie, all these people is in the same circle. So for him to even be in a room with T.I. and T.I. to record him, um, what was T.I. recording him for, y'all? That just goes to show you that T.I. is a snitch just like people say he is, okay? He on some sneaky junk. And it just still goes to show you that all of these guys run in the same circle, okay? Um, everything that he asked him, he lied about, basically, y'all. He was a complete liar on here to me because none of this stuff adds up to what he's saying. He claims that he don't even know who um, Raven is from Makita's. Her face been all over the place, y'all, okay? Ever since this whole Dolph stuff started, everything, everybody and their mama have been saying that he know who Raven is and all of that stuff, okay? Um, he told a complete lie. If he gonna get on the stand and just lie about everything, I don't understand why why he think that because he went and got Lil Dirt's lawyer that he's going to beat this case because, you know, I guess he's training him to lie good. I don't know what it is, okay? Is this how he fi figured he's going to, you know, beat this whole Dolph thing by just completely lying about everything? He said the bloggers were lying about a lot of stuff. They don't know what they're talking about. He said he have no clue who Raven is. If Raven put paws on him today, he wouldn't even know who she was. I don't know how you can miss her as big as she is, okay, y'all? But this is what he got on here and lied, lied, lied through his teeth, okay, y'all? Um... They, he also asked him about CMG. What kind of relationship do you have with T, you know, ties do you have with CMG? And he says, I have an open case. I can't, I can't uh, talk about that. You don't have to talk about it. We saw all the pictures. <laughs> we know you close associates with, you know, um, Big Juke, all of them. So uh, for you to get on here and use this guy for his platform to get up here and lie and try to steer the narrative, because this is all he really tried to do. To, to say, because this is huge, to be honest with you, the fact that his daughter got taken out. And everybody is tying his daughter passing into Young Dog's passing, what part he played in this. So his thing is to try to come on here and, you know, fool people, y'all, the smoke and mirrors. Make you think that, oh, it, the daughter got taken out because she running her mouth on somebody's song and she dissed somebody. She dissed the wrong person and they came for her. He trying to steer the narrative, y'all, okay? So I want y'all to pay attention to that. And I want to see what bloggers is going to run with this narrative that he's putting out there too because this goes to show you the ones that's trying to cover up the people that's really behind taking Dolph out too. So I want y'all to just sit back and pay attention to all of this stuff. Um, what else did he talk about? He asked him about his relationship with CEO TZ and Stray Drop, the people that was lo that's locked up too, that he was locked up with. And he said he can't talk about that either. It's an open case. I can't talk about it. So I really don't, like I said, I don't see why he came on this show in the first place just to say he don't know nothing. He can't talk about nothing. He got an open case and everything we wanted to really hear about, you know, we didn't hear anything new other than lies. He just seriously stood in our face and acted as if that he was this good guy or something and that he wanted the hood to go back to where it used to be and that, you know, he was worried about the community and all of this stuff. So um, he just got up there completely lied, y'all. Straight up, straight out. Just lied. He had been hanging around with nothing but all of the most ruthless people in Memphis and sneaky, shystiest people in uh, Memphis that backdoors people. And now he want to act as if, you know, that ain't him. That We got it all wrong. Okay, y'all? So, I don't know. He said it's going to be a part two. I really don't see a part two coming unless, and, you know, um, I'm just saying, y'all, he don't go to jail. Then maybe he can talk about it if, after the court stuff over. But why would you have a part two when you never said nothing in part one? We didn't want to hear about T.I. recording you. We didn't want to hear about Little Flip. We wanted to hear about Dolph. We wanted to hear about your connections with Raven, the truth. Not no lie that you come up here smirking in your face. And don't ask me why he's smiling, y'all. I don't know why he's smiling because everybody is getting a tail handed to them that didn't have something to do with Dolph. Seriously. So only thing I can say is he's trying to stay out these streets so that he don't catch a hot one because everybody else is catching. Them. And to be honest with y'all, um, this probably made pe pe people off even more that's mad about what they did to Dolph because he's sitting up here smiling like something is a joke and it's not. Okay. 
People are losing their lives over this whole Dolph stuff. And if your daughter lost her life over this whole Dolph stuff because they couldn't get to you, they're going to get to you sooner or later. You're going to slip up sooner or later. Do y'all remember when he went to court and the guy was telling, he was talking about he want to get a job and go to work like he, like he want to get out here and hustle or something, okay? And the judge told him, don't you know you got, your life is in danger? The, the judge shouldn't have to tell you that. He should already know that. He's trying to make it seem as if, well, I didn't have anything to do with this, so they're not looking for me. Oh, yes, they are. They're looking for you big time. And they just haven't had the chance to get up with you. This is why they got to your daughter first. Word on the street. Okay, y'all? But um, complete lie, y'all. Complete lie. If you want to go over there and you haven't seen the interview, go to Stan G's interview with... um. Quit, you can pull it right up. It's on YouTube, okay, y'all. And go listen to this mess. Um, another lie that he told that was huge, huge, huge lie, okay, was um he don't know what PRE is. And you know, Stan G was like, you know, this is a record label. This was, you know, Dolph record label. I'm not a rapper, I don't know, I don't know, I never heard of that, and this and that. He don't know nothing about pre. So he is either being schooled to, you know, what to say and what not to say, or he think he's slick. He think he is super slick, y'all. But like I said, um, I'm going to just say this, and I'm going to leave it at that. Rest in peace to Dolph. People that's getting, you know, they do diligence have been getting they do diligence. They really have. People that they have left out of the jail system. And they just pointing fingers on those two or a couple people that's in there, or two or three people that they got in there, and pointing fingers to them as if this ain't bigger than them. And it's going over their heads. It is going over your, their heads. And like I said, I don't know why they let CEO, what's his name, Bobby or something like that. They just let him out and look like somebody broke him off. Okay, y'all? I'm surprised they didn't take him out. They must have had nothing with him. I don't know. But the thing that gets me is why does the police keep letting them these guys out and they getting taken out one by one? Or well, is this the whole idea? If you get rid of everybody that has a charge on them, then you can't get to the higher ups, right, y'all? Is this why the police keep letting everybody out? And ask yourself this question, who's next? Are they about to let Stray drop out too? Are they about to let everybody out that got something to do with this until the, the court date? So that maybe if they all get taken out and uh, it's looking like it's some dirty, dirty, dirty. I'm just saying, y'all, COPS is that's out here making sure that everything is doing to make sure this case goes away for your Gotti. This is what it seemed like, y'all. And this guy want us to believe that the reason why he asked him about his lawyer, why you think that you got out, you, you're a part of a high profile case. You played a big major part, word on the street. OK, y'all, word on the street. He played a huge part in what happened to Dolph. So the guy asked him, why you think that you got out on bond after all, of, you know, what's going on? And he said, because he got a good lawyer. You know, this lawyer, he looked up, he got um, a little dirt and King Fun off their case. So he needed somebody, you know, like that to get him off. This is how he's saying. He's totally lying. We all saw that um, young Dolph baby mama came up there, Mia J. She came up there and said that they, they did a deal. And they let him out. So he made a deal that he would help in this case. This is why he got out, because he's a snitch. This is why he got out. It wasn't because, from what they're saying, my understanding, okay, y'all? So I'm going to say allegedly. He's a snitch. This is why he got out, and this is what everybody has said. That he is playing a role. Now, the thing of it is, you got to wonder, is this role, did he play a role on the family? Did he lie to them that he was going to help them, but he really wasn't? He came out to help mess the case up. Okay, y'all, he could be doing that. Or is he just a sneaky, slimy person that's snitching on people and pretending like he ain't? He also said he never met black youngster, all of this. How you ain't never met black youngster and you have been around all of these people from CNG? Are you serious? Are you serious? This guy got up here and lied his tail off, y'all. He straight up, straight out lied. This is what he did. Um, word on the street is, and this is the streets talking. They said Gavin Hernandez put the money down. He was the one that put the money down for Dolph. So the money was passed to him, 
and passed to put the money down for to get the you know the ball rolling word on the street is okay y'all um they're mentioning a lot of people they're mentioning jay-z this is what the streets are saying i'm just gonna say allegedly they're mentioning jay-z because when Dolph was offered the 22 million it wasn't from Gotti. Gotti didn't have no money like that. He got millions, but he ain't got enough. He would have broke the bank if he would have paid off $22 million. So the million, the $22 million was coming from somebody over him. And the only person that's over him was Jay-Z. So this is what people are telling me right now. That Jay-Z played a part in this whole thing, too, because this is who was going to give him the money. Okay, y'all? This is what they're telling me. Um, they are also saying that... Um, it has something to do with this Desiree Perez. This is what I'm hearing, too. There's supposed to be some kind of informant. Okay? It's a lot of people that's um, involved in this stuff, y'all. And it's a lot of stuff that's connecting. Now, I don't know. I don't know these people. But this is what the streets are saying, y'all, about this whole situation, y'all. That all of these people is connected. And then they also is connecting the dots with Diddy. And... Somebody named Felix Rodriguez, okay, y'all, who is another informant, okay, y'all? So it's a lot of stuff going on right now that's connecting all of these people together. And all of these passings of these other celebrities, it's a lot of people playing a part. This is what they're saying. So I'm going to say allegedly because I don't know, but this is what the streets is saying. So the more that he's lying and putting his foot in his mouth, there are other informants that are letting some more cats out the bag that, um, this is a lie, what he's saying. Okay, y'all? So is he going to get caught up on that stand? I do believe he is. Because people are going to come out with that proof and let him know that he is, you know, a complete liar. And he's going to probably get the book thrown at him because he's sitting up here thinking it's a game. That's if he make it to court, y'all. Because everybody is dropping. And it don't make any sense. But anyway, y'all, um, it is what it is. It is what it is. And um, sooner or later, the truth is going to prevail. It is. Or the police going to keep letting everybody out so they can get taken out and they can just try to drop the whole case in itself. Okay? But we shall see. We shall see. Okay, y'all? Anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think about all of this whole situation. Did y'all believe him? Is he trying to cover up everything now? He's trying to, you know, steer the narrative to another way? And they can't stand certain people talking about it. Uh, Lord, oh, Lord. They can't stand it. So, I'm just saying, y'all, um... Let's just see what's going to come out of this. Okay, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.